Hey everybody, it's Jill here from The Apothecary. It is Tuesday, which means it's time for Ask Your Aromatherapist. Where's Catherine? Who's my stand-in? Well, um, we're actually gonna be, you're gonna be seeing more of the staff on Ask Your Aromatherapist, including myself, and talking about the things that we love and that are important to us as relates to aromatherapy. So this here is Django. <laughs> he's uh, he's gonna do the cute, looking cute portion of this whole video. Clearly not hard. That behind me is Matilda. She's an Akita Shepherd mix. This guy is a double doodle, which means he's twice the fun of a regular doodle. Said with a lot of sarcasm. So canine aromatherapy, it's something that I love, is really important to me. I did some dog training in the city here. I love canine behavior. And when Django got a couple of small injuries, I wanted to know how to treat them holistically using the tools that, and, uh, uh, that I have at hand, on hand at the apothecary. So I started delving into the world of canine aromatherapy and it's pretty cool what I found out. And so I'm gonna to talk to you really, really quickly today about diluting essential oils for dogs. Sadly, they're not humans. I know we tend to think they are, but they're really not. They are not designed the same way we are. They don't respond to essential oils the same way we do. And their noses are incredible. A dog sees the world with his nose the way we see the world with our eyes they are scent machines. We have, as humans, about five million scent receptors in our sad little noses. Dogs, especially the ones that are bred for um, sniffing, bloodhounds, basset hounds, beagles, remember we have five million scent receptors, they have up to 300 million scent receptors. A crazy, crazy, crazy number. Dogs and humans both have an olfactory bulb. It resides at the back of our noses. Humans, pretty tiny. Dogs, their olfactory bulb is about 40 times the size of ours relative to brain size. So that's two things in their favor. The third thing, of course, Django has this lovely long nose in which rest all his scent receptors. In that nose also resides something called a vomeral nasal organ. It is a separate organ designed specifically for sniffing. So when our dog inhales through his nose, he's giving you a great nose shot right now. They inhale through their nose and the air actually goes in and is divided into two chambers. One chamber is specifically for breathing. The other chamber is de dedicated just constant or continually to sniffing. So these guys, their design, their whole world exists from their nose. Even a sighthound like Django, he still uses his nose to see the world. So to give you a kind of an idea of how strong their sense of smell is, if you take an essential oil blend and you make a room spray out of it, and if you were to give one squirt of that blend in a small room, like an office or a kitchen or a bathroom, you're totally gonna smell that. You might not know what all the oils are in the blend, but you're going to smell it. For this guy, you take that same one spritz, one spritz in an enclosed football stadium, not only is he going to be able to smell that, he can also determine all of the ingredients in that blend. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So that gives you an idea of how strong their sense of smell really is. And that should give you a better understanding as to why you need to dilute your dogs. They don't need things full strength. We don't even need full things full strength. With most humans, as you know, we need to dilute between one and 5% for any given issue. For dogs, we need to dilute eight, nine, 10 times more than that for them. When it comes to a topical issue, like a, a muscle salve or something that you wanna treat with them topically if you wanna create a blend for them, you wanna look at diluting about one drop of essential oil into about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of carrier oil. That equates out to about a half to 0.008%, so less than 1% for them. That's for an acute, like an injury that you need to start treating right, right away. If it's for an ongoing condition, like if you want to create a muscle salve for them that you want to be using every day for, let's say, two, three weeks, you want to dilute it even further than that. So you might just put one drop of essential oil into three or four teaspoons of carrier oil. Okay, so that's doesn't sound like a lot, and you might not even smell that very strong to you, but trust me, your dog can smell it, absolutely, and it will affect them. When it comes to mental or emotional or psychological things with our dogs. All our dogs have psychological things. Um, a lot of them have stress or anxiety. You wanna dilute it even further because you don't wanna overload their sense of smell. If their body is already taxed and stressed, you don't wanna create more stress in the body by giving them something else to smell. 
So if you wanted to create a room mist uh, to calm them down a little bit, you might just put one drop of essential oil into three, four, even five teaspoons of curier oil or water that's um, had a solubilizer uh, put in with it as well to disperse. Again, it might smell so weak to you, but I guarantee your dog can totally smell it. I think that's about it for right now. Like again, that's super important. Just wanted to let you know how big of a deal it was to dilute. If you have any questions, post them here. We'll get back to you. You'll see me again pretty soon, maybe next week, talking about essential oils for cats and how to, or maybe even not to use them for cats and just how to use them safely. As always, if you have any questions, post them here. We love to hear from you. If there's any other topics that you want us to talk about, um, please reach out and let us know. You'll see my face and some other faces and Catherine's as well and her amazing shirts. Uh, we'll be back as well in the coming weeks. And um, you'll be looking, our, we, I do have a class coming up pretty soon here in a couple weeks on canine aromatherapy. And um, it will be going on, online later this year as well. So for those of you that aren't close to Calgary that are interested, um, we'll make an announcement when my canine aromatherapy class is up online and you can check it out there too. That's it. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you pretty soon. Take care guys. Bye.